wrapping up, encouraging like follow your heart, take risks, and what's the other thing that can, can happen? That's right, yeah. Uh, we're recording the Q&A just with the microphone. Just that, that's why I'm going to give you the microphone. Let's have a Q&A. Q &A. I'm sure there's questions. Who's first? I have a question about how people um, connect with you when you are trying to explain to them how you live. Because most people want that stability and that just basic security. And how do they understand you? How do you explain your life choices to them? Because it's not easy. Oh, my, 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 my choices? Yes, it's not easy explaining the adventurous soul. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Um, even though you didn't ask this, I will explain you the, the poem, the meaning, uh, because that's a bit related there. So the poem was given to me by my friend, who is actually now dead suicide because of depression, right? Wow, goosebumps. Um, so when I try to explain why I do what I do, it's because I kind of need to find ways to make things matter. It's not sure if that answers, but it's for, for me it's 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 super important to find um, I, I'm not even know what I'm looking for. Basically that that is the answer. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I am trying to find it. Right? So adventure for me is just a way to get meaning to my life. Wow, so that's the first time I answered that. <laughs> I answered to myself as well. So thank you for the, uh, that was a good question. That was a good question right there. No questions. Hmm? Yeah, just. <laughs> Ego. Yeah. How does the uh, outside world and how this sort of thing, how did you overcome this, this self centered ego? For example, when you're doing stuff and you vision us, I mean, without a sort of a goal, it's pretty hard you know, to score. Uh, how did you see yourself now? You see yourself as a, uh, as in, in our way. Anyway. How do you look at how the outside world? How I see myself now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, well, how it actually. Um, was seen by others. Um, I, I don't think people really have ever, at least I hope, have ever like thought that I'm like super egoistic. But I was kind of hooked to super material things. I just, I just loved buying cars and just show it to everybody. And and when when there was like competition in the air, I was like gonna kill you it was like just so like there was so much kind of like not hate but just negative feelings I'm like if you'd be a photographer I'd be like wow I'm gonna destroy your career <laughs> like you know just something which is not like it's 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 not right you know why why the hell would you why would I want something bad to you like that's just fucking sick so I realized this, uh, I'm not even sure why, but just did some thinking, you know, I, I just, I, I moved to the country, so, to the countryside, so I'm in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> I love it, um, so, but yeah, so I, I made the change in my head, I realized that I can't, I can't um, be this egoistic ass, it'll come back to me, I, in some point, somebody or something will put me into my place. I can't, I can't play. Um, I mean, no one can act like that. So, um, 
But, um, sorry, you, um, what did you, you had something more? The, uh, where, I'm in, where I'm now? Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. I lost it for a second. So, right now I feel I'm, I'm I, I kind of, um, is it me? Or like, just universe hates my <laughs> ego, <laughs> kind of. Well, I, I see myself more uh, balanced right now. I, I, I realize that I can't get everything in life and I do not even want everything in life. And I, I feel that I, I want right things right now. What I want is, like I said, leave a legacy. I, 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 wanna, I wanna be remembered uh, um, as, as, a, as an honorable, um, just great guy, you know, like, like knights back in the days, you know, they had good, good kind of brand there. <laughs> so, you know, just more balanced. I hope I answered your question, but um, it's just constant work on, on yourself, you know. I have no, no desire to compete anymore. I compete against myself and against my still like um, with my negative sides. And I'm not playing like I'm like enlightened some way, but I just feel better. I just, I feel like I'm in peace in some way. And that's good. Maybe the uh, depression actually started that process. That was good in the end. More? Sure. <laughs> About 50 cents? <laughs> okay, wow. Um, well, um, I had a photo shoot with 50 Cent, 2006 was it? And um, it was quite, um, quite awesome back in the days because, um, so it went like this. I was a part of a company that actually was arranging the, uh, the concert here in Helsinki. So, and, and when we got that confirmed, I was like, oh, as a photographer, I need to take your picture because we need our own PR material. They were like, well, we have like a thousand pictures already, so we're just gonna send it. I was like, no, not gonna happen. I need to take that picture. So they're like, not gonna happen ever. <laughs> so, because I mean, he was on the peak that time. So that, I mean, I got, if I say, 47 emails, like direct no, absolute no, that's pretty close, no less that I can say. So I just kept on going. I sent these emails every day and they just got bored. <laughs> and they said, okay, come to New York, we'll arrange it. So I, I went to New York and uh, <laughs> I was supposed to have 40 minutes for this photo shoot, I ended up having five. So five minutes and like 10 hour flight back and forth, nice. And I had to pay all those costs, but it's good. I have 50 cents picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking stupid right there. But anyways, <laughs> but, but I did that, you know, it's, it's still a nice memory. That's a good story. And by the way, he, his first question to me was, how are the girls in Finland? <laughs> so, that you probably needed to know. What did you answer? I was like, they're awesome. <laughs> you like Scandinavian girls. You're gonna have a blast. And he did. <laughs> Not gonna tell you about the after party though. Not your uh, most um, balanced yeah, well, that's it. Oh, one more. Hi, how about the Africa? Do you go there to fight against illegal hunters or the photos? What was that? Case yes. Thank you for that. I didn't even tell what I was there for. Wow, that was stupid. So, uh, yeah, 
good question. Uh, so I went there to document the problem of poaching. Poaching is the fourth biggest criminal activity in the world. It's a 10 billion criminal activity yearly. 10 billion. After gun trafficking, drugs, and, uh, and uh, guns, drugs, and human trafficking. Fourth is poaching. It's unbelievable. It's, it's a similar war that you have in, 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 in Mexico. It's just crazy. Uh, over 1,000 guards get killed every year. Guards. They are just trying to protect these animals. They get killed every year. And when I flew to Namibia, I would say, super safe, no worries. You just come and take your pictures. In Namibia, we have no such problems. Two days after, I heard four rhinos were killed at the same time. That was the highest mount in Africa that day. Freaking sick. Now, seven rhinos have been killed in that same area where I was. And I slept in the wilderness. I slept on the ground with no protection whatsoever with the lions. But lions, they eat you if they're hungry. They prefer zebras, I hope. So anyways, I was there because of poaching. And I, I intend to continue my work against poaching. That is my mission, really. Because I think I owe, I owe my actions to these beautiful animals. They were here before us. They deserve to live. So, wow, I, I get all emotional here. But so, like, boom. So, but anyway, so super important to me and poaching is the thing. And I will do everything I can to stop that or even stop one rhino or any other animal because they all get hunted right now. Even giraffes, they freaking kill giraffes because of their skin and they are killing lions right now because there's no more rhinos. Freaking, I mean, it's the same material that you have in your fingernails. They only take the horn. And if there's a cub right ne next to it, they kill it. Because they can just take the sound that the baby is crying right next to dead mother. That's freaking sick, makes me, wow, makes me so violent inside. Wow, but that's just reality. And we, just as a final comment, we have killed 50% of our wildlife in just 40 years. This planet is millions of years old and we've managed to kill half of the wildlife in 40 years. That, that freaking tells me something. We are so, and now the worst word you can find. The last question. You should take a chance at peace. <laughs> what about regrets? Oh, what? What about regrets? My regrets? <sighs> wow. Uh, no. No regrets. You know, when I die, I, I die happy. I've, I've done everything I can do with this time. Um, of course, you could go back in history and, and change things, but maybe they happen for a reason. Maybe, maybe that one negative thing happened just so you know, things would be in balance, you know. Life is like a heart rate, right? So you go up, you go down, right? It goes like this. When you're flat, you're dead. So it needs to have negative things. So that's why no regrets. No regrets whatsoever. Okay, that's it. I'm rubbing up. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.